girl pray and that girl myself. It had to be God in itself. But as well, I didn't know because so much God drew out of me that I was going to be able to make it back to my seat. When I did, I sat down. There's a table in front of me. I buried my head in the table. And I literally thought, dear God, they're going to have to carry me out of this tent and put me in the car and drive me back to our lodge and carry me in and lay me on the bed. I don't fully understand all of that. Wow. Now, he did strengthen me, and I was able to walk, but the rest of the day, you have to understand the service went into the late afternoon hours. Much of the day I slept. Because when God is doing something like that spiritually, the body, a lot of times, right. isn't able to handle it. Right. Yeah. To some degree. What happened? They were sticky. Civil War. Bishop from Malawi he told me how even in that province, because they they border Malawi, many of them through their lifetime have been refugees in Malawi. Debbie shared with me as she prayed for many of the ladies. Many of the ladies would tell her that they struggle with walking in fear day in and day out. That something is going to spark another civil war. And they will be what they have now. Peace and tranquility in them and, and liberty and freedom. And not afraid of fighting. Is going to be taken away and they're afraid for the kids. They're afraid for their family. And so they battle that fear. Yeah. They were sticky. Lord. They were standing in a mess. Lord. Literally, the people in the rain. Literally, I walked out of the back of the church to get to the car. It was all muddy. I don't like mud on my shoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's muddy. <laughs> and they've been standing out there hungry. Yes. Literally standing in a mess. But spiritually in a mess. Spiritually standing in a mess because the enemy completely tried to annihilate and take out Mozambique. And even to this day they carry that stigma in the continent where they're at in Africa, but also in the Western world. But I say that Mozambique is experiencing revival and the move of God even now as we speak. Amen. Praise God. And God kept them in their mess. Their shoes may still be sticky, but they made it. They're alive. They're hungry. And God is answering their hunger. Amen. And today I want to tell you that He answers your hunger. He answers your cry. He answers your desire. You don't have to remain where you're at. And you don't have to die in your mess. But put your best foot forward. God's already been there. He knows what it's like. He's already been there. And He's going to bring you out. Amen. Yes, he is. More the memories for them God wanted to make. So he ministered to them that to be a memorial for movement. A memorial that moves us. Like the 12 stones out of out of the Jordan. They went back in, as you know the story. And I'm going to spend a long time here. We've talked about this so many times. And they, they got out of the dry river bed and they crossed over into the promised land. But that memorial was not just to stand there and be a, be a memory and be a memorial. But it was 
there so that when their children asked, what do these stones mean? They could tell the story, but it wasn't just so the story could be told. It was so that their children and grandchildren would be moved by the memorial, that the memorial would move them that it would set them in motion, that it would place them in a place of movement with urgency to see what they were facing changed and made different with Mozambique, the war that they've been through. Some of them, many of them have allowed this to change, to move them toward hunger. And I say to us, the church in America, to you as an individual, what you're facing. I say to Dream Mason's church, with everything that is going on in our nation, in our families, in our lives, what we are facing and what we are dealing with, God has already been there. Let it be a memorial that moves us into action with the spirit of urgency see that we go forth and say we will not die here we will not lay down here and quit we will not lay down here and say well the enemy's got the best of us we're just going to hang on we're just going to hang on for heaven and slide in and hope we get there and when we get there whew, wipe our brow off and say thank God I made it no let it move us into action let us let it move us into hatred for the devil not people let it move us into desire to seek the face of the Lord like we never saw him let it move us into allowing the Holy Spirit to spiritually clean our